Did you ever think about changing your color of the chat and the player name in the Minecraft chat? Well, today I'll be showing you a Minecraft plugin called Create in Plus, where you can change your chat color and even your username color in the Minecraft chat. So pretty much to access the plugin, all you do is just type Gradient Plus, and you'll see a menu over here. So you'll see three items over here. So each of them are their own things. So the first one will let you change the chat color. So once you select that, and right now I'm actually with white. If I want, I could change to maybe forest. I'll show you the preview in a bit, and you can even press this to clear the gradient. Uh, but right now I want forest so I'll just select forest and I could even change the name color so let me just select emerald here so I've selected emerald and now you can just go back and type something in chat so let's say hello world so now you'll see that the colors have been applied to the chat so this is the emerald color for the username and this is the forest green color for the chat so that's pretty much how it works and there are some additional features like you could like click this particular button and it will completely reset your chat colors uh, to the default one. So right now it's blue because of a particular thing as I'm currently O. But if you're default, it's gonna like reset it to white. That's pretty much for the menu. And there's another special thing which is called like a special item. So this is basically a special item where like you could add it to the menu and like for example, maybe you want to add something like buy this item for 50% off on our store. So maybe you could monetize the server and say that people can buy uh, particular colors to you know use them in the chat so maybe you could like add a whole uh, shop info here so something like shop and then the lore and then something like www.store.com so you could do something like that so do know that the item can be changed per menu so this is one menu this is one menu and this is one menu so as you can see the special item is completely different here so i'll show you the gui menu in a bit uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it and yeah, uh, let's go to the configuration part. So as you can see, I'm at the configuration folder here. So pretty much let me just show you the config file first. So you could open the config file and you'll notice a list of placeholders. Uh, there are some internal placeholders which you can like use internal. So maybe like uh, if there's a message or something, you could like add it to the message and the placeholder, the placeholders will be shown. And for the external ones, they're basically like placeholders which uh, need to be used. Uh, like maybe if you're like using a chat plugin, you'd need to add this particular placeholder. So let me just show you that right now. So right now I'm using a plugin called LPC. So I have to go there and I have to go to config.yml. And right now you'll notice that the placeholder is already applied, but I'll show you how it looks. So by default, it looks something like this. What I did is I just copied this and all I did was just paste it here. And then what I did was save. And then I just did LPC reload. That's the reload command for the plugin. So now you can go back to gradient plus and you can go back to the config file and let's look down. So this is a section for language file. So maybe like if you want another language, so let's say there are like, so currently there's three language options here. So, I mean, if you want like French, Spanish or Russian, uh, I think this is Romanian or Russian. I'm not sure. So if you want either of them, you can just go back to the config file and you can like edit it over here. And then there's the default colors. So here's what it is. So as you can see, I, I'm opt. So I had the priority. So the priority was like the color called multi. But if I was de opt and I tried to reset, to reset to white, this is the permission. And then there's more features like the ignored words. So basically like the plugin won't color this particular term when using in chat and you can even go through more values over here everything has comments which you can go through and then there's user data so you don't really need to touch this it just contains user data of every player and there's even like languages and that i already showed you and now there's the guis so the guis would be basically just chat main and name so these are the three which i showed you in which the first one was this and then there was name.yml uh, which was like which let you change the color for pair names and then there was the chat.yml which let you change the colors for the chat pretty much has like a title which you can edit the size of the gui uh, and then there are more stuff here you can go through then these are some colors that you can actually add yourself and then you can even fill the empty space with glass there's even a button for clearing whatever gradient we had applied there's even a filter here so i'll show you the filter in a bit i totally forgot to show that and then there's like more item for go back and then there's like more items uh, but the more important one would be the override here so let me just go down i think i think the override is over here yeah so pretty much what this is basically is that but like maybe add custom heads over here so i'll show you that in a bit so mostly just you can select the position on where this special item can be added maybe you can like just tell them that maybe something like this can be bought on your store and maybe some like 50 percent off if you buy multiple chat colors something like that or uh, you could edit them so now if you want to like minecraft heads you know like a special head so you could go to the minecraft heads website 
then you have to go to the custom heads section then you have to open the search box here so maybe something like Ali maybe if there's a head for Ali and I guess there are few so you can just go here and you can copy the ID from this particular box so you can just copy it and paste it in this particular material and make sure you restart the server and once you restart the server like update everything so let me just restart it right now so that I can show you once the server has started uh, and yeah that's pretty much it for the GUI part so now let me show you filter system which I forgot to show you so I'm here in the game right now so let me just go back to gradient plus and let me just go to chart I think yeah here as you can see the LA head is visible so that's how you add like custom heads and you can go back and let me just go to like name color maybe yeah so here you can see the filter mode so maybe something like show unlocked first so right now it's basically something like uh, it's I think it's permission based where like if you have only have like maybe three colors rest of them won't be like I mean it'll be like at the end of the list so you can like show unlocked only where only the ones you have would be shown at the top and then there's alphabetical so you know that and there's like even unlocked first so the ones that you have unlocked at the very top so maybe like white is available to everyone so there's more colors too and yeah that's pretty much it for the filter mode if you like the video make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more similar content see you soon